welcome. Well, we are us and this. This is Yangard or Yangard or Yatengard. Regardless of how it's pronounced, here it is. Now, before we do begin, I want to say something really quickly. I just got finished recording Wildcat Gun Machine, and that episode was wild. We killed two bosses. No, three bosses. One was a mid, like a like a boss in between rooms or stages. And it was the it was crazy. Like you thought the boss fight from the first episode was wow, but no, 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 no. And even the fights between the boss fights were nuts. The second stage, the enemies are gross. And I had to do some tricky business. And I am so... Now that I'm thinking about it... I am extremely upset that OBS ate the video. Granted, it didn't... It's not like it was... It's not like there was a significant amount of encoding or... Um... What's the other one? Rendering lag. It was below 2% on both of them. I don't understand how it happened. But OBS ate the video. It is currently sitting on my hard drive at a meager 12.5 megabytes. Whereas it would normally be somewhere around 7.5 gigs. I don't want to think about all of that action you guys are missing out on because OBS decided that to right now would be the time it would throw a hissy fit. So let's just let's just begin our adventure, shall we? In the cold hours of night, three heartland villagers find themselves awake despite the late hour. One can ask why three hardlanders would stay awake this long after their work has ended. And so close to work beginning anew. The answer would be found in the letter resting next to the warm firelight in their home. The messenger said it came up, came from up north, from the Eingard. From outside the heartlands, that was strange, as none of the three had ever heard of someone leaving the Heartlands. But it, get it gets worse. Together, the three of them begin to read the letter. All Heartlanders are family. That is why. All Heartlanders are family. That is why I did what I did. The unspoken of Yangard have ruled over us for hundreds of years. Years of oppression, of pain, of faithlessness. The Baroness of Blood, Falira, rules the Heartlands in the name of Yangard. Her tax collectors, the Breathtakers, ensure no Heartlanders rest nor hope. For without ya for without faith, Yangard will rule forever. I had to end it, but I failed. With this letter, there is hope. I included the map I used to find my way here. This is where my journey ends, and where yours must begin. There is a church, a hidden one, a church that remembers hope and prosperity. The Church of the Fourth Well still remembers the long-forgotten age of adventurers. The unspoken of Yangard took adventurers from us. Become what they were. Find the church. Bring Falera down. Escape the heartlands through the gates of silence. Save your home. And if you fail, make sure that there will be others to walk in your footsteps. 
The letter is signed, All Heartlanders are family. Go adventure, adventurers to be. Your time has arrived, old man. Tell us who helped you through the gates of silence. Do it and I'll allow you to die quickly. Putting down the letter, you're interrupted by a hostile voice from outside your home. Come out of there! By order of Falira, the Baroness of Blood. It's one of the breathtakers. An Atonic tax collector. Hmm. <clears throat> what could he be doing here? I don't know, but I don't like it. Breathtakers mean bad business. Let's arm ourselves, just in case. You begin to... Okay. Ugh. During each encounter in Yangard, you have to select a card option. Whenever you select an option, your adventuring party gains plus one experience. At the bottom, you'll find the consequences, both good and bad. Distributing the makeshift weapons amongst yourselves. You guys left a good one right here. Let's gather our things. After gathering the few weapon like items you possess, you go outside to face the Breathtaker and his guard. Ah, and his guard. We're coming out. You know something amusing. Within the mind of a heretic and traitor, the unspoken found you. Both the breathtaker and his guards stared at you intently. My brothers and sisters of the Heart Watch tracked a messenger here, delivering a letter to you. From the traitor, very same. It seems that you make bad choices in friends, countrymen. The Atonic Breathtaker smiles, an expression of derisive pity. You are sentenced under Atonic law for treason. Sergeant, take them. Sir! Weapons and Mastery Ugh, Doing a lot of reading and different voices makes me yawn. I don't know why, but it's a thing. Weapons are vital. Give one to each adventurer. What weapon you carry decides what stat you want. Weapon mastery for power of abilities, ancestral mastery for burning and blood curse. Okay. Oh, what do we have? Ugh. Shatterstone? <laughs> Carve wood. I actually, I can imagine in my head what, what that, what that ability would look like when you use it. You just yoink like your enemy's arm out, and then you just sort of saw on it, dealing sixty-five damage with each move. Uh, bold, tough, strong. Get to the saw. Does he get two? Gets two. What is this? I think I should have given this to Bolto. But this is where we are now. Can I? There we go. Hmm. 
I wanted Boltzov to have the freaking sword, or the hammer. But at the very least, everyone is equipped now. Personality traits. <clears throat> when selecting card options, the active character can gain one or more personality traits. Gaining enough of a trait will grant attributes, skills, and powerful combat perks. Remember that each personality trait has an opposite. Try having each adventurer act consistently. Hover a card consequence to see which of your characters has the personality trait already. Okay. Using abilities. To use an ability, click it. Seems simple enough. Melee abilities may only target enemies in the same tile as yourself. The, I, I mean, I think, I think I understand what you're trying to say, but it doesn't make sense the way you've put it. I don't imagine a character can occupy the same tile as another. I think they mean enemies adjacent to the tile that you're on. Or oh, I could be wrong. Let's find out. Uh, can I see what this guy is capable of? Nope, every time I right click him, the mouse goes right back in the middle. There we go, much better. Ooh! Hey! Ooh! Guess that's it for your movement. Gain focus if it is not the first turn, also gain fortitude based on your level. Deal 2-3 to three damage to a single enemy within range. Okay. When you are finished with your turn, press the End Turn button to end it. The turn order displays in which order the characters will take actions. You can hover the turn order, top of the screen, to highlight who will be next to act on the battlefield after you end the turn. Yeah, but I'm trying to cast a spell, maybe. Inflict three burning, dealing ancestral damage of three to four per turn. Oh, okay. Interesting. So they can move an entire cell and go anywhere within that area. So I, I see what they were talking about. Attacking enemies within your cell. Gotcha. Nuts. What is this? Use an ability or a move. See, that's not where I wanted you, but that's where he ended up. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. Nice. Can we get another? 
nuts. So do we have, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, attacks of opportunity. No. Okay. Let's focus on this guy. He seems a little weak. No actions available. So we can move once and then act, or we can move twice and do nothing. Ooh, the second one crits. Nice. Why do you have to be like this? And she's rooted, so that's a thing. So do you wanna... I can't actually target her. Well, not like I can do anything else with her. You, go harass this guy. Give him the soul. That'll be the end of your turn. Could you stop abusing this woman? Yeah. I, wait, I heard... So this is a guy? Hmm. Anyway. You. He's dead on his next turn. May as well have him focus. Go. Give her the business. I was hoping for a crit, but what can you do? Why would you go near her? She doesn't like you either. Why is it so difficult to... Can you really not target someone in the same cell as you with the spell? I guess not. After the violence, you gather around a morning campfire, tired from having too little sleep. You find yourself reflecting upon what happened. We can't stay here. A breathtaker missing? The old farm will be infested with heart watch before the end of the day. The ancient adventurer sent us the map. We could make use of it and travel north. Go far enough north and we'll get to the gates of silence. Nobody has ever gotten through though. Looking amongst yourselves, you all agree on one point. You're not strong enough to fight the Baroness, let alone the Atanic Empire. Yeah, it feels heavy around you. Let alone Yangard itself. Silence. The letter from the adventurer. It said we must become adventurers. What does that mean? 
I, for one, have no idea. We should seek out the Elt with a Heartland Elder. You'll know. Looking over the grisly scene that occurred outside your home, a thought occurs. Valera will be furious over this. She'll take it out on our family. Some of our own will hate us for what we brought down on the Heartlands. Can I at least finish? I guess I'll try and finish it through this. Did we do what was right? When you pick a card option, one specific character is selected. And the active character loses stamina for making the decision. It is also their personality that changes. I do like them or us. Yeah, we're going to go with this one. The others, I hate lawful is just no. And defending your home while fine. Eh. So it's them or us. It might not have been right. They made it into us or them. In that case, I'll pick us. You nod amongst yourselves, agreeing. We won't ever come back here, will we? I don't think so. We've a long journey ahead and the barrenness of blood will hunt us. Hopefully, the Heartland Elder holds some answers for us. Let's get the Adventurer's Map. We'll, we will need it. And thus begins the journey of these three Heartlanders. Will they succeed in their quest? Become adventurers and liberate their tormented homeland? Or... Or will they perish like the thousands before them? Falling to the might of the Dark Citadel, Yangard. Perhaps the better question is, who will they have to become to triumph where thousands have failed? Either way, this is where their journey begins. Just a little bit of self-serving. We learned Looter. Are they really as important as me, the hero of the Heartland? Excels at dealing with chests and looting. Interesting. The travel map. When you reach this map, the game saves. To reach Yangard, you must travel north by selecting the next path. Need gear? Combat drops the most loot and heals you a little afterwards. Combat occurring during encounters give very little loot. Avoid it unless you selected a combat encounter. These two things here are saying different things to me. Unless combat during encounters is something completely different. Okay. There's going to be a skill challenge here. Well, we could go with combat. Okay, so here it shows that encounters are something completely separate, which means that if 
what I read means that combat that in occurs during this rewards very little loot, whereas this, this right here, would have greater loot rewards. But I do like a good skill challenge. You find a carefully engineered locking me mechanism between you and your prize. The lockpicker's art may be disreputable, but it is useful. It is, of course, easier with the right tools or the right force. And here we have a tutorial on skill checks. I really, I really do need to keep in mind that you guys can't see the mouse cursor. So, I can see it, but you guys can't because it's not on as an option in OBS. So when I'm pointing at things, I need to keep that in mind. Some card options require a skill check, a dice roll. To succeed, you must roll below the required percent. Each skill check has an attribute and a personality skill that increases your chance of success. So the skill check difficulty, attribute scaling, what it's based on. And then the skill. Having two in a personality trait grants its skill, giving plus 25%. Hmm. If we fail, we all take 25% damage. But if we succeed, we actually get treasure. I'm going to need somebody who can do this. How is Hamlin Crestworn more powerful than Boltulf the Strong? This one has a much higher chance to succeed, so... How does he have... Oh, we don't have supplies to do this. Otherwise, we could have used this. So, improvised lockpicking it is. I believed in us all along. After working the lock for a while, three rapid clicks out from the lock, and its hinges move freely. As the chest swings open, you find the prize you were seeking. The character sheet. The character sheet shows the equipment, powers, and stats of your adventurers. Hover, <clears throat> hover over stats to learn what they do, and drag equipment to swap them around. Top tabs swap between adventurers. Side tabs inspects personality traits and perks. Plus 6% maximum HP per point. Hmm. Ooh. Binder's Blast. I think this will go right to our resident spellcaster. What's its face? background as a healer. Oh, well, that makes it kind of obvious that this has to be our spellcaster, huh? I just stick that in your craw. Nice. Stamina and exhaustion. <clears throat> if a character reaches zero stamina, they become exhausted. Try to never let an adventurer run out of stamina. Exhausted units are very weak in combat and heal less when visiting inns. Recover stamina by searching for an inn. So we pass on the combat. Weary from your rough journey, the three of you stop at a cooking site. Excited to get something warm to eat, you light the abandoned campfire below the heavy cauldron. 
This place seems abandoned. We should eat what they clearly left behind. If we have any herbs, we could also brew an inspiring tea. It can help us feel better. Standing by the warm fire, you ponder what you prefer to make of this opportunity. Well, we only have one. Hmm. Guess it's up to Hamlin. You gather the abandoned food. Hopefully it isn't rotten. You, you cook them into something you hope is edible. Some of this... Some of that... You eat the soup. This could have tasted better. Hopefully we can get some real food at an inn later. For now, this is what we have. Having finished your food, you begin packing, continuing onwards. Looks like we found an inn. Exhausted characters recover reduced HP and something else. Might 1 Ferocious. Increased the total weapon mastery of enemies by plus 3. Increases weapon damage. What? Each time you rest at an inn, a day passes. Each time a day passes, the might of your enemies grows. Uh, <laughs> okay. I see how that is. So the key is not to rest frequently. We only have fights here. But which one do we take? The one on the river, the other one on the river, or the one past the river? This one. Approaching a heartland hamlet, you pass a long and stretchy road when... Stop! Wait! Someone is hiding from us ahead. Boss, they stopped. I think they spotted us. Ugh. Hard. Move on them. No reason to pretend now. I think they're trying to rob us. Highwaymen. What'd we do? Well, we... We kill them. Obviously. Also, that's a man and a woman. Didn't realize that until now. Aye. They're not running. Why would we? Ha! <laughs> Let's get them. Being that confident, I'm sure they're carrying plenty of valuables. Ranged abilities. Ranged abilities can reach up to two tiles away, but not in the same tile. I could have used that information a long time ago. To target characters in your tile, you must move out of it. Abilities that dash or target allies are exceptions. Not sure why this guy would start the fight with his back to us, but he's going to suffer for it. <clears throat> as soon as we deal with his spellcaster friend. Binder's Blast. Deal 3 to 5 damage to all enemies in a target tile. If you are focused, Binder's Blast deals <clears throat> 6 to 9 damage instead. And has a 30% critical strike chance. Our resident spellcaster is in the back, so we can focus.
And I think we'll move. Oh, I guess we can't do that. Oh, screw me. Let's see. I pressed the space bar and it instead focused on the character rather than ending the turn. That is my... Why do you not have stamina? I don't understand. That'll give him something to worry about rather than trying to rush our spellcaster. Unless... Oh, there's a third one. I wonder why they were so brave. See, that seems a little stupid. Anyway. So you realize you die now, right? Hmm, that's not going to be enough damage. We'll instead do it this way. One goes here. The other goes here. That's right. I wish these two had gone into the same cell, but what can you do? Dang it, I was hoping for a kill. Then we could just have these two focus. Yeah, that's a woman. Um, who's turn? Okay. Mm. Either way, we need to cut down on the number of spellcasters currently in this fight. This way she won't be able to cast. She'll have to run all the way over here and then she won't be able to act. Good lord, fire is a nightmare. Your adventuring party carries resources with them. Supplies, organics, valuables, and artifacts. The resources are shared amongst your adventurers and can be used by anyone to overcome difficult encounters. 
here we get armor that lets you dodge more effectively. At the cost of armor. Pretty sure it was Hamlin that did the swanky dodge, so. Hmm. Encounters that affect. Yeah, she took quite a bit of damage. So which one? I guess it doesn't really matter. Sit down, sit down. You must be so weary from the roads. While trekking down the road, you find yourself stopping at a house, entranced by the wonderful scents of smoked sausage and fresh herbs. I am immediately suspicious. I'm Graham Graham, or that's what they call me. But you're so young. Thank you. She smiles confidently. And yes, I am. Young as a new spring. I inherited the name from my mother. She was a vein blade, a, a, an imperial hired sword. She'd take her earnings home and cook warm meals for the working families of the Heartlands. I kept giving, I kept giving once she passed, so the family here gave me her name. The family? Whose family? The family, the Heartlands, us. Aren't you from here? Her smile makes it clear that she is, in fact, joking. There's nothing but the Heartlands here. Nobody can leave except the Inquisition. My mother was known for her selflessness. selflessness. She put the needs of her fellow Heartlanders before her own needs. That sounds noble of her. It was. She was one of the very few Heartlanders who made a real life for herself and she used it to help others. Her expressions visibly swell with pride. She was the best of us. One family. She snaps out of her radiant expression, taking on a joyful, business-like mannerism. So, what can I do for you? I'm here to help. Well, we have no supplies, so screw me. And to get her sword, you can't see, but I'm gesturing at the highlighted card. Uh, we have a 34% chance to actually succeed at that. I don't know who I'm going to have do it, but it has to be Hamlin or... Anastas... Anastas? Anastas? Anastas. It has to be Anastas. I could still be wrong, but whatever. Anastas sounds better. Mm. Let's go for the sword. Failed. Naturally. Frick, I should not have had Anastas do it. If we had our old blade, we could spread your mother's legacy of nobility. Gram Gram seems to think for a moment. Fire sparkling, her expression is tense. I'm sorry, I don't have it. Weapons are illegal for Heartland. Ah, ah. Weapons are illegal for Heartlanders, you must know that. Not everyone can be as brave as you are. It does not matter if she's lying won't be getting any weapons. 
In any case, thank you. If we ever come by here again, we'll have a mug, and you can tell us more of your mother. I'd like that. She smiles, tension fading from her expression. You make yourself ready to continue on your way. Leveling up and attributes. When your party gains enough experience, one plus one per card option, they level up, gaining plus two attribute points. Click a character portrait to open the character sheet and use the plus sign. This is Botulf the Strong. It's difficult to... I was going to add points into toughness, but it's difficult to make someone into a tank when enemies can walk right by you. So... I don't... I don't really know what to put that into. This is our resident spellcaster. All creativity-based chants and abilities are increased by your creativity percent. It's reduced as you level. I'm just confused because I was expecting Bolt of Strong to be the the strong one, but it's apparently Hamlin. What is Bolt of's background as a forager? Okay, we have another, we have another encounter or two combat options. Is the health missing because I know I, I still don't know if Anastas is a man or a woman. Frankly, I don't know if either of these two are men or women. Regardless, I don't know if... Mm. One more encounter. At the back of the tap room stands a mysterious figure, watching you closely. You approach the man as he speaks to you. Greetings, Traveler. Would you be interested in a... A gamble. What sort of gamble? Ah, uh, a simple card game. The stakes are what's interesting. What terms would you play by? Hmm. 
Frankly, it doesn't matter who we use, it's all going to be the same. Based on how this guy's dressed, he's taking us as rubes. So, he is probably looking to make looking to make a quick buck off of us. Yeah. We're going to go with suspicious. The stranger looks at you, disappointment clear in his expression. Very well, then. Suit yourself. Without another word, the stranger leaves you alone. More! More encounter! Ard the Young Hardlander. <clears throat> I'm sorry to approach you like this, but I'm in the, quite the pickle. I kinda need some help. What kind? I'm Ard, and well... Well, I've heard from up Vainwood Way that the Breathtakers are moving down through the Heartlands, and well... You're broke, aren't you? I lost the coin I had playing strings last night. I'm screwed, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Could you help me out and lend me the coin for the Breathtaker's lot? They'll be here in a day or two and there's no way I can pay off that lot without your help. Boltulf doesn't hasn't spent any stamina yet, so so we'll go with Lend the tax. Okay, so uh, the reason why I didn't read out what was on the card was because usually when I select the card, the character that's been selected to choose it, which was Botulf, says the line that was on the card. And then it goes to the character's response. In this case, for some reason, they just skipped that bit and went straight to the response. Oh, you're a true lifesaver, a real hero. I promise I'll pay you back. Safe travels, heroes. Mm -hmm. Ooh. We've got bribery now. I fight for myself, my team, and hard coin. And so do you. Excels at inducing bribes. Okay, let's end this video on some violence. Everyone else's health has recovered except for Anastas. Why is that? Remember, they were missing a small chunk of their health as well, but now that's recovered. You stumbled upon an excavation, searching for... searching it for useful things left behind. Instead of tools and shiny valuables, you find yourself face to face with depth walkers. It seems that this excavation dug deeper than they should have. The dead eyes of the undeads watched you. The hate only the afterlife brings gathering within their empty skulls. And what do we do? Run? Uh, no. 
We came here for violence. We're going to get violence. No, we fight. As of on demand, the Depth Walkers begin their cold work of slaughtering mortals. Unfortunately, those mortals are you. Each turn of combat, characters have one move action of one. Why is this not something that was introduced in the very first fight? Click on nearby tiles to move into them, consuming your move action. You can use your combat action to either move a second time or, or use an ability. Thank goodness the resident spellcaster is all the way in the back where I'm vaguely certain that's a woman. Those look like lumps to me. See, yeah, that's definitely a woman. Yeah, so that's 100% solid. I wonder if they're really... Oh, actually, we can do damage to both of them, can't we? Oh my god, I've messed up terribly. I clicked the freaking spell, though. There's only enough room here for one extra enemy, so if we do not move towards them, they can't really move on her. I like this plan. We're going to go with this plan. Yeah, I figured that would be the case. Oh. Oh, he's a spellcaster. That explains a lot. Well, whatever. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, it's just a scratch. A very, very cold scratch. Frankly, we can move him over here to stop this guy from casting anything. Well, he could still cast on anyone that's in this area. So I should have moved him. You're on fire anyway. Actually, we can move you over here. And then cast that. Yep, that'll do. Mm. I don't know. That seems a little like prejudice to me. Creativity burning. Mm. So whose turn is it? Screw it. Doesn't really matter. a bit closer than I would have preferred it be. Mm. Let's click on find an in, go with this, and then... Again with this guy.
We don't have enough valuables to play with this man. I thought the one that was on there meant I could just press one on the keyboard, but apparently not. Well, that encounter was a bust. Enemies are going to be a little stronger now. All enemies gain plus four initiative acting earlier in combat. Well, we really didn't need that, did we? Hmm. Oh, all right, 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 right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for us today. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves and everything you've seen here. We will be back this will be going up Friday, so we will be back with more tomorrow and Sunday. So, if, if this scratches that itch for you, or you just find it worth listening to for whatever reason while you're doing something else, feel free to come back over the weekend and I'll have something for you. And so with all that said, we will see you next time. You see